I am so, so happy to have with us two brilliant brothers on this Own Your Own Home Day. So I'm going to throw this out there for both of you to answer. And um, most people have their tax money coming up. So how can they kind of strategize using their tax money to get on this home ownership journey? Is this a possibility and how can we do this? And where do we begin? I'll tell you what, uh, let me just say this. Uh, first of all, my name is Tim Maxwell. I'm with MLB Residential Lending and I'm a licensed mortgage banker. I've been in the industry now for 30 years. My office is in Piscataway, uh, but uh, we write loans in New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, and Florida. So, and Connecticut actually. And so if you are interested in buying real estate in any of those states, feel free to reach out to me. And just before I forget, in case I forget, my telephone number is 732-433-6040. So, but to answer the question about home ownership and use of tax dollars, uh, one of the most important things that most people don't consider when they're trying to purchase a home is whether or not they have sufficient funds in order to purchase the home. And I have to tell you that seeing a qualified tax accountant that, with information on how they can maximize the amount of money that they're getting out in order to be able to use that money to purchase real estate is extremely important. So when you begin your journey to purchase a home, the first thing, again, is you want to see a licensed mortgage banker, but we're going to tell you almost every single time you really need to get with a qualified tax accountant who can actually get you the maximum amount of money out of your returns without hurting your ability to qualify. So, and we have with us on the call, a, one of those types of persons, a qualified tax accountant. And we'll hear from Hudson so he can explain to us what is the necessary steps in order for you to get the money that you need in order to buy real estate? Hudson, could you help us with that? Sure, absolutely. So um, the, the way that, start with the end in mind, right? And I, I always say you have to do two things. Number one, be strategic and be intentional. So if I'm going to buy a home, so first I would want to have a conversation with Tim so that I will have to know how much house am I trying to buy? Do I want a $250,000 home? Do I want a $400,000 home? Do I want a you know, $750,000 home? Because at each level, we then would need a certain amount of income. And so once Tim lets you know, okay, I need to see two years with an average income of 100,000 because that's what you're gonna need to buy that half a million dollar home. Well, guess what? If your taxes don't reflect that, you're basically wasting your time because you come in at 75, it's not going to work. You either have to compromise to do one of two things. It's either you're going to have to buy a house with a lower price tag, maybe 350, maybe 250, or look into a two family home or a multi family home where some of the rental income now counts towards how you're going to make those payments. You see, and so um, for just, again, with the end in mind, like for me, we, we, we started with the, with the process where, okay, we're going to be investors first and then have, we're not going to buy our dream home until the investment properties that we have can pay for the dream home. Okay, so again, that's my strategy. It doesn't have to be everybody else's. Some people, they go in, okay, I want to buy my dream home up front and Again, if you have the money, it's all good. And so let me take a couple of steps back to just introduce myself briefly. My name is Hudson Etienne. I am an IRS enrolled agent, uh, got licensed back in 2004 and have offices throughout New Jersey. We have our headquarters in Cranford, New Jersey. We have a franchise office in Hillside, New Jersey. And we have also another um, franchise office in Harlem in New York City. And so, the most challenging clients that we find, I think you will agree to with that, Tim, is those that are self-employed. And so what it is, is as a tax advisor, it's almost conflicting, right? A, 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 a small business owner will come to me and then my job is to minimize their tax exposure. It's to minimize their income, right? However, when you're buying a house, you can't minimize income. 
you have to right. maximize it to show the amount of income that you need to buy that house. Okay, you'll take a tax hit, but so what? You'll get your house. You mm -hmm. see, so that's where it's at. And um, let's go on to the next question. Well, that's right. That was a really, really good qualified answer. We really appreciate that too. And, and so as you can see, if you're on this call, you realize that there has to be a synergy, uh, a good working relationship between your lender and your accountant. You got to have a good qualified accountant. You have to have a good qualified mortgage lender. And if you don't mind, Lene, what I'd like to do is just show uh, a brief two minute video to give uh, the, your viewers some information about myself and the company that I work for. What I love about this business really is that you have an opportunity to share one of the most important milestones that a person achieves in their lifetime. My name is Tim Maxwell and I am a multi-state licensed mortgage originator. I am also a branch manager with MLB Residential Lending. I found that it has been the most rewarding experience that I have ever had. I started in this business over 20 years ago. I had the idea that I wanted to be able to assist the average consumer obtaining the dream of home ownership. Purchasing a home is one of the most important financial decisions a person will make in his lifetime. I've been able to successfully assist thousands of consumers. We go out of our way to make sure that we match the right program with the right borrower. If we're successful at doing that, we will wind up with a very happy customer. Just recently, I had a customer who really needed to get his loan approved in the shortest possible time. We took his mortgage application on a Wednesday. We issued him a commitment the following Monday. The experience that you have in assisting a consumer in the home buying process is not something that is easily put into words, but it has an impact on your relationship with individuals for, for years to come. We have great rates. We have great programs. We offer an assortment of lending products. We offer all the FHA lending programs. We offer all the VA lending programs. We offer all the Fannie Mae programs, all the Freddie Mac programs. We have first time home buyer programs that will even assist a consumer with down payment money, with closing costs, with all sorts of things. If you're even thinking about purchasing a home, give me a call and let me see if we can assist you in making home ownership a reality for you. Okay, very good. So, so that gives you a little bit of information about the process and about myself, at least. And it talked about many of the programs that we offer. So first time homebuyer programs are prevalent. You want to make sure that if you are a first time homebuyer, that you avail yourself of some of those programs. And there's so many that uh, to talk about that, that would, you know, necessitate a whole completely different call. But the way you get started, is you really want to get with Lene, uh, give her an idea about you know, what you would like to accomplish, where you want to buy, what type of home you're looking to purchase, whether it's a single family home or a multifamily home. Sometimes it might be good for you to buy a home that uh, maybe you have some tenants that'll help you to pay your mortgage. It's actually possible to own a home and not have a mortgage payment at all. So there's different ways that we can assist you with that. Lene is the best person to be able to show you how to look where to look and what types of property to buy. But once you get an idea of uh, what you would like to accomplish in terms of the real estate, she'll give you an idea of what's available, what the prices are, what the taxes are and things like that. Then I want to have a conversation with you. It's going to be just as if, for example, if you went to a doctor's office, um, the doctor won't just start operating on you. No, they're going to take some time to find out what your issues are, what concerns you might have. And then uh, he's going to do his research to make sure that based on your present circumstances, what is the best way to deal with those issues? Well, that's exactly how I approach every one of my clients. I'll spend some time finding out what your purchase goals are, what you would like to accomplish, how much budget you've 
set aside to, to make your mortgage payments, how much money you're working with, and an assortment of other questions we'll be discussing. But in the end, what I'm going to do is to tailor make a package for you with loan programs that will fit your needs. And, uh, and then we're going to work to have you fast track approvals. Now, one of the things that Lene will tell you is that right now, this really is a seller's market. And what that means is that there are homes available, but there are far more many buyers out in the market than there are homes available to purchase. So that means for you that you need to have a, an approval or fast track approval, we call it, or most people in the industry refer to it as a pre-approval that's going to make you look better than all the other buyers that are in the market shopping for a home. And that's what we specialize in. We have a program called Fast Track. With the Fast Track program, it makes you look to the seller as if you are a cash buyer. And, and how we do that is we get all the work done in advance. And in fact, by the time you go to make an offer on a piece of property, usually within seven to 10 days, your loan is approved from the date that your contract comes in. Right away, we're getting ready to close. To, to a seller, that looks like you're a cash buyer. Even the cash buyers can't close that fast. So let us make you a cash buyer. Work with Lene to determine where you would like to buy, what types of properties are available, and then talk to me so that we can figure out what your, uh, figure out what your budget's gonna be and what programs are best, and we're gonna connect you up with a good accountant if you need one in order to make sure that your numbers look right so that we can be successful in helping you to accomplish your goals. Lene. Thank you for that, Tim, I appreciate it. Um, so Hudson, when we think about um, the home uh, ownership journey. Can you give us some tax strategies to um, get people prepared if they want to try to jump in this year or uh, at least prepare for next year if they want to go that route? Right. So, so it's there, there are two, right? So there's a stack tax strategy for the self-employed and then it's, it's very different for the person who works a W-2 job, right? So the one who works for um, a W-2 job, who has a career, what have you, they already know where their income is. They already know with bonuses where they're going to end up at. So it's very simple. It's almost cut and dry, right? And so after speaking with you and after speaking with Tim, Tim will communicate to them, look, this is where we need your income. And if they meet that income, the other factor is your savings, right? How much are you going to put down? Are you going for a conventional loan or are you going with the FHA? Of course, with conventional, it's a minimum of 10% down, right? And then with FHA, it's, it's much lower, 3%, 3.5% or what have you. But he can speak more to that. So we want to look at how much savings are you ready to actually make this commitment? Because remember, with being a homeowner, there's other invisible commitments that you're making. It's not just the mortgage. Is going to be, hey, can you also maintain the home? There's going to be factors. There's, there's utilities. There's maintenance. There's cutting the grass. There's, hey, sometimes if we're lucky, everything goes well. Other times, hey, the boiler goes out on you right in the middle of the winter. And so now you got to come up with another five to 10 grand that you didn't anticipate. So owning, just like any other major things in life, like having kids, there's invisible commitments that you're making. When you buy a car, there's other invisible commitments. It's not just, okay, I got the money for the car. Now, can you put gas in it? Can you afford insurance, et cetera, et cetera, right? So with the house, there are those other commitments as well. And then, so again, with the W-2 employee, it's very cut and dry because the income is already set. For the self-employed, as I said earlier, it's a conflicting relationship because your taxes, we would look to minimize where when you're buying, you have to show income. You have to show them the money, right? So now the, the, the planning around that is the, the two years that we're going to show money, we're going to need for you to make some estimated tax payments higher than you would normally make. Because to show 100000 guess what your tax bill is going to be? It's going to be about thirty grand. So. Now we want to go ahead and give them the 30,000 upfront. So every three months we're paying them $7,500 
in April 15th, June 15th, another 7,500, September 15th, another 7,500. So by the end of the year, they already have their 30,000. Like we're not trying to figure it out. We're not trying to, you know, look under rocks and borrow money or whatever the case might be. Like we are planning this out. That's what I said, you have to be very strategic, right? And then come tax time, we're good. We're ready to, to pay the bill because we already paid it up front. And um, while we're saving monies, because it's twofold, it's making the money, having the down payment and having the monies to maintain the home once you own it, right? And of course, with the 18, we have Lana, we have Tim, we might have Hudson, but we need an attorney, title company, like we need all the rest of the um, components to make this go, right? Your appraiser, we need all, everybody lined up. And you know, we already have those relationships that we can point them to. But I just wanted to mention those other components as well. Exactly. Well, this, this is really uh, a great conversation. Um, I want you guys, if you can, I don't want to take up too much of your time. I know you're busy. It's Friday and we're trying to wrap things up for the week. But can you give us some last minute kind of things to look forward to for this year? Are there programs or any new tax uh, laws or something that we should be aware of uh, that we can? Oh, this, this, is, this is a huge year, right? Um, for 2021, with the new tax law changes and the legislation that Biden had put in place with increasing the child tax credit, right? So if you have kids five and younger, you're, you're going to be looking at an extra like $3,600 per child, which was never the case. It used to only be 2000 right? And if your kids are in daycare, I'm going to try and it's, it's complex, but I can make it simple. Daycare, you know, daycare never, I mean, they cost on average over $10,000 per kid. Well, on your taxes before 2021, you used to only get credit for the first 3000 and we would only credit you for two kids. Well, it now went from 3000 to 8000 That's huge, right? And we will give you 50% credit on that 8,000. So imagine that tax credit used to only be $600. Now it's $4,000. Like I'm excited. Like I have, you know, I have an eight year old. So it's, it's great. And if you have two kids, the credit went from 6,000 up to 16,000. So now that credit if they have childcare, can you be looking at an additional eight thousand dollars potential tax savings or tax refund because of that for the childcare, and then an extra two, three, four thousand dollars depending on the number of kids you got, right? Because if you're getting at minimum three thousand per kid, if you have three kids, that's nine thousand dollars. That's a down payment on a house, <laughs> right? So. I'm telling you, it's amazing. I, and I'm more excited. I'm not even, you know, in the game like that. So, but yeah, that is what's going down. Thanks to the Biden administration and the new tax law changes. And people are going to see a nice spike on their refunds if you have kids. And it's probably a great time to buy a house, right? So that's that's what's going down. That's and it's, exciting. it's great. It's great. I'm, can't you tell? I mean, I, that's exciting, I'm right? I'm <laughs> <laughs> I'm oh, like, oh, let me yeah. hurry up and do my taxes. No. <laughs> yeah, That's so exciting. it could be a big, yeah, it could be a big catalyst and a big jump to get, you know, those bricks stacked up in your savings and then talk about the numbers and see how we can make it work. But we all, all of us can be homeowners every single one of us mm -hmm. and that's like having a piece of the earth and owning it that's the name of the game there you go that's beautiful yeah. so tim what's up with you any any new programs i know the last time we talked you were talking about american dream um is there anything else uh, any other programs people can look out for well one of the things is that uh everyone should be aware that it is really not hard to be a homeowner. 
it's it's more difficult to think about being a homeowner because if you have never purchased a home before, it might just be seen, you know, beyond your reach. But everyone should know that if you desire to own your own home, give me a call. I will plan it out for you. And as Hudson had mentioned, it's not something that you just want to do without thinking. You need to plan for it. You need to get yourself ready and get yourself set up in order for you to be able to do it. There are loan programs that require no down payment at all. Imagine if you were able to purchase with no down payment, zero down, and you were able to get the seller to help out with a little bit of your closing costs, you could almost walk into a home with no money. Yep, that's what I said. No money. <laughs> well, almost, right? So you, but so, but you really do need to plan. So everyone is not, will not be able to take advantage of every loan program. The loan programs are quite tailored based on what your particular goals are, where you would like to live, what type of property you would like to buy, whether you're a first-time home buyer or not, what your credit looks like. And in fact, I'm glad that I mentioned that because credit is so, so important. And in fact, I think that maybe, Lene, next week, if we could spend some time in a session just talking about what we can do to improve our credit might be a great place to start. If your credit is great, you can buy almost anything. You can almost get anything that you want. But if your credit is marginal or poor, this is a bad time for you. So, but we can turn all that around. On average, I'm usually with our computerized uh, credit analysis system, we're able to increase your credit score in little as 30 days. Let's have this meeting again, maybe next week, Friday, if possible, and we could spend some time talking about what we can do to get your credit ready so that you can purchase your first home. Excellent, excellent. This has been really good. I mean, great information, Hudson, man. You always come with the, the, the jewels and um, hint, hint, okay. <laughs> I, I, I appreciate this. And Tim, I think I, we should definitely talk. I think that would be a great topic to talk about boosting the credit and how we can get um, you know, help people out in that realm. But this has been awesome. So it's lunchtime. What, what's for lunch? <laughs> Anybody? I, have I, I, I don't. I, I do have a tuna fish sandwich, so that's probably <laughs> what I'll, I'll jump on. And um, yeah, and I, I didn't give my contact. So if if anyone wants any um, additional information about TaxDRX, just go to taxdrx.com. Again, that's taxdrx.com, and they'll have all our contact info there. Excellent, excellent. Very good. And same and for me, uh, we have an online presence. Uh, you could go there, but you could just give me a call, and I'll give you uh, some things that will help you to get in touch with me. Uh, link to my webpage. Uh, actually, I'll let you download my smartphone application. You know, you'll have it free of charge. It'll give you the ability to look up information about different loan programs, figure out down payments, calculate how much you qualify for. We'll send it to you for free. You know, just because you are um, a client of Lene, she's just excellent. What a great real estate agent she is. She is just Aww. the best. You will, you will, you will have, you'll definitely have a great time purchasing a home with her. Thank Absolutely. you for that. I appreciate you guys. And thank you guys for watching and, and tuning in with us. Um, share it with your friends. This has been a great, um, great information session. And I look forward to having more conversations with you both throughout this year. Have a happy, blessed, prosperous new year. And I like to see, I can't wait to see beautiful things that you all do. So thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for watching. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, subscribe to Jules Realty Boutique on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram. And on Fridays around the noon hour, we have our Real Estate Roundtable live on Facebook. Great real estate tips every Friday around the noon hour. So connect with us. We look forward to connecting with you. It's Jules Realty Boutique. See ya.